Capitalizing on the massive success of Netflix's seven-part documentary series, Tiger King, Murder, Mayhem and Madness, the streaming giant decided to release a special episode, The Tiger King and I, to delve deeper into the scandalous series that's got everyone, including President Donald Trump, talking about it. The 40-minute special was announced by its host, Joel McHale, on April 10, 2020, through Netflix's social media channels. McHale, who was the star of the hit sitcom Community, was joined by John Rinky, Joshua Dial, John Finley, Saf, Eric Cowie, Rick Kirkham, and Jeff and Lauren Lowe via video conferencing as they discussed the docuseries and other details that probably weren't shown on screen. Of course, the key stars Joe Exotic and Carol Baskin were missing in action. Joe Exotic, or Joseph Maldonado Passage, is currently serving a 22-year sentence in prison, while Baskin said she felt betrayed by the producers and decided not to join in, especially since she's reportedly been receiving a number of death threats since Tiger King dropped on Netflix. Even Joe Exotic's current husband Dylan Passage was missing in action. But for the rest of the Motley crew that was present, they made some pretty startling reveals during the 40-minute episode of The Tiger King and I. Here are the five biggest highlights from that special. Number 1. Joe Exotic was scared of big cats? While talking about Joe Exotic, former journalist Kirkham, who was making a reality show about The Tiger King, revealed that Joe Exotic was actually afraid of big cats. He said, he was scared to death of lions and tigers. In the shots that you see in there, where he's in with two tigers, the white one and the other one, the white one is blind and the other one is on tranquilizers. It's idiotic to think how he's become famous as the Tiger King when he's so terrified of big cats. Really now? Number 2. Joe Exotic killed healthy tigers and a horse. The zoo employees who were interviewed on the Netflix documentary Tiger King and those who were present for the Tiger King and I alleged that Joe Exotic actually killed healthy tigers at the zoo. Saf added that Joe Exotic did kill a few of the tigers who seemed healthy but that the Tiger King would find some or the other justification for their deaths. Saf said, Joe always had a way of explaining his actions. They were old. They were injured. They were suffering is what we got. Kirkham also added his two cents, saying that once Joe Exotic killed someone's horse that had been left at the zoo for safekeeping. He recalled that the Tiger King said, I don't take care of nobody's animals and now they're tiger meat. Number 3. Saf's story was used as a safety video. One of the more gruesome moments shown in Tiger King was when Saf lost his arm to a tiger at the zoo. Saf revealed that the footage of the incident was actually used as a safety and training video for future employees. He revealed to Mikhail that Joe Exotic wanted to show people that video because this should be the one thing people need to see before they decide if this is a career move they want to make. Number 4. Joe Exotic should not be pardoned Almost everyone who spoke out on the Tiger King and I believe that Joe Exotic got the prison sentence he deserved and didn't think that the Tiger King needed a pardon. When asked if he should be released from prison, Cowie said, he's gonna die in there, good riddance. And Kirkham added, I mean, he asked me to kill Carol one time. Jeff Lowe went on to say, Joe is his own worst enemy. Joe didn't get set up. He admitted to killing the tigers from jail. However, Saf said that while Joe Exotic deserved to serve time, he didn't deserve to die in jail. Saf explained his stance saying, Every single year since I've been there, and I've been there for almost 10 years, I've seen him give the jacket off his back for people, and I think that wasn't highlighted enough. Joe did a lot of messed up stuff. That's a fact, and that's shown, and now the entire world knows it. But he did a lot of good things too. Number 5. Actors Who Should Play Tiger King Cast Members Each of the people who were interviewed on The Tiger King and I shared which actor should portray them on screen. Rinky wants Matthew McConaughey to play him, while Saf would rather have Brandon Baker play him and even agreed to McHale's suggestion that Ken Jeong could play Saf too. Kirkham said that he wanted Billy Bob Thornton to play him on screen, while Cowie didn't offer up any suggestions on who should play him in a fictional adaptation of Joe Exotic's life story. Incidentally, Hulu is in the process of making a fictional series with Kate McKinnon starring as Carol Baskin and Ryan Murphy is on to a potential project with Rob Lowe in the mix. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, be sure to check out all other videos too and don't forget to subscribe.